and just all of them, all possibilities for everything you could possibly experience in your life are all out there in these waves, in the these quantum waves. Awesome. Yes. So what they found that when you introduce an observer, something gets chosen. Yeah. The effect of just introducing a human, you know, like they used to say, if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there, it doesn't make a sound. Stuff like that. So it's the introduction of a human. And once one of these waves recognizes that it has been seen, it will release. That's awesome. And then it starts to form these, he used the term prickly, like atoms or substance, right? Faith is the substance of things. Up for, yeah. It starts to form this reality for you. Mm. So to pop a quip, what the, the quip we want to pop is the reality that God has for us, right? Mm -hmm. His view, his opinion, his perspective, his reality for us is everything that righteousness is. Yeah. Uh, righteousness is life. It's a pathway. There is no death. Death of anything, like death mm -hmm. of relationships, physical death. It, mm -hmm. It's just not there. Mm -hmm. So our job is to be the observer that sees that wave that has God's reality for us in that situation so it can pop. That's awesome! That's so great! Oh my god, did it's you so hear great. it? Was it a talk? Or a... Um, well, it started, I heard it from Johnny Enlow. He was on the Elijah list with that guy. And I'm like, oh my lord, this is so awesome. So then I just looked it up. And you can actually just type that in your search bar. Just pop in the quiff. Mm. Or pop in a quiff. Q-U-I-F-F. It's only like three or four paragraphs and it's just it's you know quantum physics for dummies it's great uh, we but it's just them. what the bible tells us right what does it say it says we are to fix our eyes uh -huh. on what above right yeah not below uh -huh. fix your gate fix yourself on things that are above so what is our reality going to be what was it in the garden what was it what will it be in the new heaven and the new earth there's no reason for he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah. So the middle part should look like that. That's awesome, Myrna. It is. <laughs> so and cool. it's so hopeful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's all created, God created from the beginning of time. And I'm glad that those guys are putting out those articles because for these like engineer mind and high seas, yeah. they can get yeah. them. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Like your husband? Mm -hmm. Well, like some friends. of these people, they're not, they're not even Christians. They don't even understand that what they are saying is the law. Is Jesus, you know, what Jesus yeah. taught. Yeah. Right. The they don't even, yeah, they don't even, like that biology of belief guy. Mm -hmm. He's an atheist. Yeah. How? I don't understand. I don't either. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that, that whole thing, the biology of belief. So, the, is, so you have your DNA, you have your genetic code, and again all possibilities for everything are in that code mm. right good bad or otherwise and what determines what gets activated they have found is heart beliefs these heart beliefs they form physical proteins that will lock or unlock these different things on your code yeah I mean, that's, it's just, that's just it. So, that's why we need to reprogram our heart. Yeah. You know, that's what this whole book is about, is to get our heart established in what God says about us and what Jesus bought for us. Mm. Right? It's like you go to the store and you buy your kid new clothes and they get stuff that they had when they were, you know, that's all ratted out. Like, we don't need to do this. Or someone's paid the bail so you can get out of jail. And you're like, I like the food here. I can't <laughs> <laughs> Jail sale. It's, you know, just silly. Yeah. 